Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over my desk setup. And it's one of those things where I feel like my desk setup is never fully done. Every time I feel like I got what I wanted, I see something else and I keep on changing it. But I'll share with you all of that in a sec here. Before we go any further, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Also, I want to do a big shout out to a few of you today because I feel like there has been so many amazing questions from you all, so much support and love. So thank you so much. Let me know down in the comments other videos you want to see and I will be sure to make them. So many of you have been asking for this video, so that's why we are here doing this video. Okay, we're going to break this video down into a few sections and one thing I want to keep in mind is what I'm showing you, I'm going to show you what I currently have and for some of the pieces and items in my desk setup, I'm very happy with them. I want to stay with them. And for others, it's I like them, but I also have a wish list of what I hope to upgrade to, and I'll share that with you as well. I'll also make sure to do another desk setup video once I have my wish list items, but I feel like at the end of the day, these items or this wish list is forever and never ending uh, because new things come out and then I want them and you know how it is. So I'm really excited to be doing this video. I am someone who, as a software developer, I'm currently working from home full time. So before I was working from home, I had, I didn't have a desk set up. This desk behind me was covered with like paper and random items and things. And I just brought my laptop home when I was working from home and just did that. I didn't even have a monitor. And then when we switched to working full time from home, everything kind of changed and I realized very quickly the importance of having a proper desk setup for reasons of my posture a lot like I was getting a lot of back pain prior in my knees so I really identified the importance of not just because oh this looks really cool to have an awesome desk setup but legitimate for health reasons you need to have a good desk setup so I hope you can take some inspiration from this for your own desk setup and okay enough of me rambling let's get started Okay, the first topic I want to cover is keyboard and mouse. Mouse, mice, mice, keyboards and mice, mice. Is it keyboard? I don't know. Anyways, you know what I mean. So for keyboards, I am a Logitech diehard fan. I think Logitech produces some of the best keyboards and mice out there. And the one I currently use and keep on coming back to is the MX3. I think it is, I don't know, I just really love it. I also love how it has a side panel so I can do like my side panel for my my keys as well so i can do like different calculations on it and then the full keyboard um i also like how it can connect up to three devices so i often am switching between my personal computer and my work computer and it's nice that i don't have to kind of reconfigure anything it's already there also i like that it is bluetooth enabled so i don't have to have a bunch of wires although i still feel like i do have a ton of wires but at least that helps so that is the Logitech MX3 keyboard. And then along with that, I have the Logitech MX3 mouse. And this mouse, it's just, oh, I don't know if you've um, ever tried a Logitech mouse, but honestly, once you do, I don't think you can go any other route because they make the best mice, mice, mouse. Here we go again. And the one I have, the MX3, I really like it because of its wheel. It scrolls so fast. Um, and I thought at first I wouldn't actually even use that. I was like, you know, yeah, it scrolls really fast, but who cares? But honestly, I'm telling you when I'm going through a document or lines of code, being able to quickly go from the top to bottom is a game changer. So those are my two products I use for a keyboard and mouse and both of them, the mouse as well, you can switch between three devices too. So it's just a game changer. It's, it's a solid, they're both solid pieces of um, equipment that I don't have those are, I don't think there's anything better than them in my opinion. If you have a better mouse or keyboard that you love, let me know down below, but I don't have an item on my wish list for these. I think I feel like I'm set with them. So if you are looking for a mouse or keyboard, I would highly recommend the Logitech MX3 products. They are incredible. Okay, my next favorite product on my desk setup is my Vivo Manual Desk Riser. I got this when I was doing a partnership with Vivo um, I guess a few months back and I didn't even realize at the time just how obsessed with it I would be it's I don't know what I did before I had this like with the manual desk riser so it's manual obviously so I just clamp like 
clamp my hat onto the side and just I can rise and lower the desk and um, well it goes on top of my desk I will show you another shot of it but anyways it's absolutely amazing because I feel like throughout the day prior to having this I was sitting for eight to ten hours a day doing my work and then going into the living room and sitting for another however many hours I was working out in the morning like I always do but sitting for this long long period of time especially because I found since working from home I'm not taking as many walks or coffee breaks as maybe I should be so having this option to stand or sit has been so helpful and I've been using it so much so basically what I will do is in the morning I will start standing some people have been asking me a lot of why do you stand so much throughout the day when you're coding like doesn't that get frustrating or can you not focus and for me it's the opposite actually i have found that standing throughout the day while working has been a huge improvement to my focus i don't know why that is maybe it's because the chair i have is definitely not a good one and i have a wish list for chairs i would like to have so maybe just because my posture is better and I'm more focused, so I don't know what it is, but having a standing desk has helped me like so much with focusing and being more productive. I think I'm just more energized as well by standing. So the Vivo Manual Standing Desk Riser has been a game changer for me. And I can fit both my computer stand and my monitor on it. You can see right here that they both fit. So that's really nice too. And I also have room that I can put a coffee or any kind of drink on and then it has a lower level for um, my keyboard and mouse so it's not like cluttered or anything so there's no wish list item for this I think it's the best product out there once again in my opinion and another question I get asked is well why didn't you get a full desk standing desk and the reason being is more for aesthetic purposes when I was planning out my office and we are actually painting it in February and doing like a whole kind of um, redo to it. I want to change this shelf. I want to change so many things in it, uh, change the color of the paint. I want to make it brighter in here. But what I, I really like this kind of like vintagey um, mixed with modern feel. So I wanted to do a very cool vintage desk. So my desk is from Restoration Hardware and it's more of a classic desk. It's definitely not a techie desk or a desk that's very futuristic. It's more classic and vintage looking. And I think it gives a really cool appearance though, mixing the vintage kind of old school feel with this very new modern um, feel of some of my other products. So that's just my personal preference though. I The standing desks, a lot of them kind of look cheap in my opinion. I haven't found one that looks expensive or looks kind of high quality. And that's another reason too. I just didn't really want to um, implement that into my, uh, my desk setup but you know everyone has a different kind of setup and vibe so what works for you might not work for me but yeah so I got the manual desk set the manual desk riser that goes on top of a desk so if you are someone who already has your desk and you're not looking to uh, replace it having something that goes on top like this is, is a game changer for me okay moving on to monitors monitors is something that once again as I mentioned I'm kind of late to the game on because I was working in office and so my first monitor, which I'm currently using is, I should know this, is Acer. So it's, it's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's okay. It's not the worst, not the best. I think it's a 24, I think it's a 24 inch, 24 or 27 inch. Um, I, I, I feel like the colors on it is not is not the best as it could be. The volume is not the best either. It's a little bit scratchy. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this monitor um, to someone who is going to be working for long hours. If you're someone who, you know, just needs an everyday monitor um, and you're not worried about the color or the sound, then maybe it's for you, but it's okay. I definitely have on my wish list two other monitors, um, the Asus monitors. Um, I'll link them down below, which the two are that are on my wish list. The thing with that is though, I would need to get a different uh, monitor mount stand because right now the one I have is for uh, either one monitor or my computer, which I will get to soon. But yeah, so my monitor is Acer. It's it's fine. It's not the worst, it's not the best. Um, but yeah, I definitely have a wish list for two other ones um, that I'm hoping to get very shortly here. So I will link them down below my wish list items, but I'll also link the Acer one because as I mentioned, it's not 
amazing, but it's not horrible either. So it's just, yeah, yeah, that's all I got for it. The monitor mount though that I'm talking about is I love and it's, you know, if I was sticking with um, just one monitor and then my computer here, I would definitely keep it. And it is the Vivo uh, monitor mount. Um, I'll link the exact one down below. Um, but basically what you can do is you can have it either to hook up to one monitor or it comes with a stand which you can place your laptop onto like I have. And the only thing I wish is that it did come with another arm um, so that as I transition to two monitors, I don't have to get a new stand. I can just add the other arm, but maybe it does. I haven't really looked into it, but I really love Vivo products. So um, I'll definitely be getting the double monitor mount stand. Um, and then with that, they usually come with two different options. One that you can clamp onto your desk uh, and then have the pole and the monitors out or the other where it is a stand um, rather than a clamp. So because I have the uh, desk set up behind me that I can not actually really clamp things onto it very easy, I'll definitely get the mount one. So I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll link them all down below. Uh, so I really like this mount though, the one arm monitor mount from Vivo. It's been great. You can kind of swivel the computer around uh, to where you need to be. And I have it clamped onto my desk riser because um, for the one arm, I can have it clamped onto the side. But when I get the double arm mount, I'll need the, as I mentioned, the actual flat, flat mount just because it can't clamp in the back. So that's kind of the story between my monitor and my uh, monitor arm mount. Um, so yeah, monitor, definitely not my favorite. The arm mount though, I really love. Okay, next let's move on to some music. I have been obsessed. I think the best speakers out there are Sonos. I am obsessed with them. We have them throughout our house. Um, I have a tiny one in the back corner here. You can see it's all hooked up to my phone so I can choose if I want to play music just in the office, in our living room, kitchen, bedroom, etc. And um, a lot of times if Paul, my boyfriend's at home, I can just choose to play it in the office, close the doors and just like jam out. Um, I know some people like to listen to, to music when working with headphones, even if you are home alone. I personally prefer to have it coming out of just like a speaker. Um, and maybe I would do something on my actual computer, like my, um, my monitor if I had better, if the Acer one had better sound quality, but in my opinion, it doesn't. So I use my Sonos uh, speaker. Okay, next I want to cover one of the most questions I get asked is what are your lights behind your desk? So the lights behind my desk are called nano leaf lights and they come in different kind of um, shapes and quantities. So the ones I have, I have the nine square pack and you can change the colors based on whatever you feel like you can customize them or they come with some patterns. Right now I have on, right now I have on romantic because I just think it's really nice. The pink, it's really calming. And at first the reason I got these lights was more so just because I thought they looked really cool and I wanted to kind of, you know, make my setup more enjoyable. But another side benefit of them is they really make me happy. They boost my mood, especially when I have them on certain colors, I guess color therapy. And I think it's just a great addition to any desk. Um, they aren't necessarily cheap though. I think mine were around 200 USD for the nine panels. Um, but I do find that they are worth it, especially if you are someone who is working at home every day and kind of just want something nice uh, to jazz up your, your desk setup. Also with the nano leaves, you can keep them on or you can make any kind of pattern you want. So they have suggested patterns on their website, which I followed because I was like, this is going to turn into a disaster otherwise. The only downside though is when you stick them onto your wall, like I had them stuck on, when you take them off, for me anyways, I have not been able to take them off without peeling the paint off. So when we paint the office and, you know, do renovations in here, the one caveat Paul was like, is you are not putting those lights back on because when you take them off, they are going to take the paint with them. So what I think I'm going to do is buy a clear plastic panel and um, glue them onto that and then just like have the panel be exactly hidden behind the lights so then I can kind of just lean them against the shelf. I don't know if it will work but that's kind of my my plan anyways because I really like them. I like how they're easily controlled by my the app that you can download for them and um, yeah they're just really fun. 
Okay, next up, I feel like we're not going to spend much time talking about chairs and I'm not going to show you my old chair that I currently have because it's, it is horrible. Like I'm talking, it's like, I don't know, it's, it was Paul's old chair and it's like a very like vintage, comfy, big, it almost looks like a lazy boy chair. I don't know. Anyways, so I, I think that's another reason why I'm standing so much at my desk currently because I just find it's very hard to get work done um, in this chair. So. But on that note, my dream chair, which I'm hoping to get in the new year, um, early on in the new year, is from Herman Miller. I will insert a photo here of it and link it down below for you. It's not the cheapest chair, but I feel like because I'm working at home every single day for my actual work, you know, with software development, and then in the evenings, a lot of time working on my Tiffin Tech business, I'm in my office so much that investing in the best chair out there in my opinion is completely worth it so i'll link it down below but also if you have any other chair suggestions i haven't bought it yet so let me know in the comments and i will consider adding them to my wish list but let me know why you like the chairs so much because i'm pretty much sold on this herman miller one and uh so i guess that's kind of it for for my chair status as of now um oh also actually when i am standing i have a mat i use from vivo to kind of help reduce the pressure of um, my, I guess on my feet for me standing. And I didn't know if this would make a huge difference, but I thought I'd give it a try. And honestly, it's made a huge difference. So I will link it down below. It's just like a really nice mat um, that's better for your posture and to spread out, um, I guess, your, your standing weight. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about briefly is my shelf up here. I, as I mentioned, I'm hoping to get rid of this shelf and make some cool, stackable ones once we redo the office um, but in the meantime what I keep on my shelf is I have a globe I have some books the books I have are the 48 laws of power amazing book if you've never read it it's like one of those books you have to kind of read in chunks so um, it's a lot of information I have some coding books here um, that really aren't that relevant anymore coding books but they look nice so that's why I also have zero to one classic book for anyone interested in startups, entrepreneurship. It's so good. Um, and I have how to win friends and influence people. Another amazing book. I like the classics if you cannot tell. Um, so just some books up there, some pens, some kind of like artifacts. I don't know. I need to redo it, but I don't hate it in the meantime. It's nice. It's kind of fun just to have some things around your office and that's kind of, that's kind of it. I don't know if it gets more exciting than that, but let me know down below if you have any suggestions of things that I need to upgrade on or the latest kind of things for the office. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my desk setup. I will give you a full tour of my office once we have painted it. I'm just, it's just like, I'm not even gonna show you, but we have like, it's, it's like a disaster. You're seeing this. This is like one of the things that I always say to people. You see such a small part of what YouTube or Instagram is all about because that side is a disaster of my office. But I will give you a tour in the new year. I promise you a full tour. Because it actually is, uh, my office was a bedroom converted into an office. So it's, this is not, this is a very small corner of the whole room, but now it is a storage room pretty much. So we're trying to convert it to a full office, but Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments other videos you want to see. As mentioned, I will be sure to give you a shout out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos, and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.